Hey everyone, I did a very simple, my everyday makeup look. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I'm quickly just gonna start off by brushing my eyebrows. I am a little bit red in the center because I was plucking earlier. Do my brows real quick. I will link the video below if you guys wanna see how I do my brows. I'm just gonna skim through this really fast. Now I just added uh, this lotion. It is by L'Oreal. It's the Revitalith lotion. It's supposed to be a moisturizing lotion and I've noticed that it is very moisturizing. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I just applied it. As I'm getting older, my skin does get a little bit, it tends to dry a little bit more. I'm still, uh, I still have an oily T-zone, but I feel like it really has made my skin look a lot smoother. I'm not sure about the, the wrinkles. Maybe a little bit, but I don't, I don't have like prominent wrinkles. I feel like more like when I make facial expressions, my wrinkles come out a little bit more, but like usually I don't have, uh, thankfully so far I don't have a lot of wrinkles but I do feel like it's a very uh, nice moisturizing lotion so that, that is the second thing that I apply and then now um, if I need to clean out my eyebrows some days I feel like I need to clean them some days I don't today I'm gonna clean them out today because I feel like they're a little uneven so I'm gonna clean out my eyebrows now just to give it a cleaner look just to have, you know, just a more put together look. And whenever you're using concealer to clean out your eyebrows, try to get it as close to your skin as possible. Try not to have like a really light color because then it's going to really stand out because we're wearing minimal makeup. So always remember that you don't want like your eyebrows to be standing out too much. Then with the back of this brush, I just uh, smooth it out, work it out, blend it into my skin on both the top and the bottom. Some people are blessed with beautiful eyebrows. If you have those eyebrows, that's awesome because that's one less step that you have to do. Maybe you just need to fill in a couple areas and then you're good to go. That's it for my brows. And then you can set your eyebrows with... Um, a mascara I'm using or not a mascara but like a eye brow mascara so this is just a clear one and now what I like to do is I have a little bit of concealer left it's very very little and I'm gonna use that um, as much as I can so I use very little on my lids to kind of cancel out any uh, color any you know try to balance out the color from my lid then I'm putting a little bit here just to cancel out this red that I know it's going to go away because it was because I was plucking, but I'm still going to put a little bit there. And then I'm going to put a little bit underneath my eyes, like more focus it on the corner of my eyes just to brighten up. And then just blend that out. You can blend it out with your finger or with um, a brush. And I have a lot of redness. I don't know if you guys can tell here because I don't know what the light's going to pick up because sometimes it doesn't. So I like to put very little on my nose and then around my nose. And that's it. And then you can, like I said, blend it out with your fingers or with a brush. I'm going to use a brush for my nose. Now for my face, lately instead of foundation, I've been using this. It's the, the I might be butchering the name, Coats. It's a face sunscreen, but it's natural tinted. They have a clear one, and then they have this one. And I like this one because it's it mattifies a little bit. It has SPM 40, and it says it's water resistant for 80 minutes. So I love this because it has sunscreen. So it's perfect sunscreen. It's always good to have sunscreen on your face. So I usually like to use... Um, a sunscreen like this, the Neutrogena Clear Face one, 
but this one it I feel like you get more um, oily skin and because I am already prone to be a little bit more on the oily side I do prefer this one because it is a little bit mattifying a little bit and it's also tinted very very slightly so it does give me um, some color so we're gonna put a little bit on so I work in, in batches so honestly it's like very very little like can you see very little and I go down like I work it down and now for the my forehead I use about a little bit less than what I got for the bottom half I start at the T the center and then I work it around and sunblock is good to apply in general everywhere so we're gonna put some on our neck a little bit and I forgot to put the lotion on my neck the L'Oreal one um, definitely you guys should put it on your neck as well okay so now the fun part um, lately I've been using the Kylie palette this is the peach something or the other I'm gonna fail you guys I forgot what this one is called but I will link it down below like I'll, I'll put the name down peach royal peach or peach palette royal peach I think it's a royal peach palette so I love this as my everyday palette I use these two colors so like the peachy color and the brown color so it's gonna be I'm guessing sorbet and sandy are the two colors that I love and it's very easy it's pretty much like a wash of color but I blend it in using both so I first I grab the peach and then I grab the brown and then I just blend it in. So I blend it on my crease first. Windshield wiper motions. <laughs> I get a little bit more. I bring it down across my lid. That's it. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to apply mascara. It's a Dior mascara. Um, I'm sure I got this in an Ipsy bag at one point or another. I love having these little baby mascaras. I feel they work a lot better than individual, like the bigger tubes of the mascaras. Like the regular full size. And I like this mascara because I don't know if you can already tell. Like just one um, swipe or whatever, it, I feel like it really brings out my lashes. And after applying a little bit of mascara on the bottom, honestly, I call it a day. This is usually it. I do put on a lip gloss. I usually alternate between the um, Nicole Guerrero, the lip mask, which I love so much, or um, any of these baby lips. Just to give myself a little bit of color. Very, very easy. Very, very simple. If you feel that you're like too pale you want to add a little bit more color you can always add a little bit of blush sometimes I do sometimes I don't um, for the sake of this video so you guys can see what it looks like so usually I'll, I'll wear it like this and I'm fine with it but I'll add a little bit of blush as well um, my go-to as always lately has been uh, Luminoso by Milani and just with uh, an angled fluffy brush I just apply it in circles to my apples on my cheek and then I go back and this color I love it so much for the summer and I think it's such a pretty combo with this peach that I'm putting on my lids because it's such summer vibes to me so then you look uh, glowy and put together and honestly it didn't take much to get to get to put yourself together so that is it um, I hope you guys liked this video this is honestly my everyday go-to makeup lately it's super super simple super easy this is such an easy look to do if you don't have to do your eyebrows it's awesome because it's less steps that you have to do and then you could just spot conceal put a uh, you know just a wash of color on your eyelids whatever color is your preference I think a softer peachy color it's very nice and subtle and a very uh, good everyday makeup especially if you're not trying to um, have too heavy makeup at work or you're not allowed to have too heavy much too heavy makeup at work this is a really good look let me know what you guys thought below let me know what your favorite products are for everyday makeup and thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button as well if you liked this video thank you guys so much for watching have a beautiful day bye you guys